Hey guys, welcome to episode 24 of my Zero Pay to Win series! So today we're gonna be going over the new updates that came out today. And of course, we're gonna be doing Guardians updates. If you guys enjoy the video, make sure to thumbs the video up. It really helps out the channel. But yeah, let's just get right into the video. You already know. It's Guardian time. So there's nothing too new going on with Guardian, uh, but I am gonna update you guys on her sp so i'll answer what her sp was in a previous episode and now currently she has 1633 sp we're real slowly getting up there but we're getting up there so that's all that matters let's get into the events let's start off with the fourth anniversary celebration part tray three event one is called the suppressed boss gear event to summarize it you got to reach a certain level and then you can get um these weapon boxes i'll insert the chart of what level you gotta be to get what item but i'll also show you guys on my shy some of you guys might already know but my shy is currently at level 60 so this means i'm able to get all the challenge rewards because my shy is already past the level requirement so we're able to get a suppressed kazarka weapon box a suppressed kudum sub weapon box and a suppressed dandelion weapon box and ta-da we've already cleared that so we've got our kazarka Kudum and Dandelion. So I'm gonna be using this gear on my Shy, so we're gonna collect them on my Shy. I'm not gonna collect my Dandelion weapon box yet, so I'm just gonna leave it in here for now. Let's open our two boxes up. So Kazarka, yes. And our Kudum sub weapon box, yes. And now we've got our two suppressed boss gears. Currently my AP is 152, talent is 158, and DP is 213. Let's put on our suppressed boss gear now. Now my AP is 182, talent 164, and DP 218. And then to add on, we've got part two. You gotta reach a certain level, and then once you reach that certain level, you'll be able to access um, these special quests. The reward for these quests are suppressed boss gear, which are equivalent to tri boss gear. So like, that's pretty nice. If you already have better gear, you can sell them for around 100 to 200 million silver each. I'm gonna keep keep mine for my shy because I use my shy for like rift bosses and all that. Anywho, we're gonna be doing all four of the missions, so uh, why not, let's just get started. For mission one, we've gotta defeat 1000 desert nagas so that we can get a suppressed Gaith helmet box. So let's click the scroll. Yes. Now we've got a quest over here. So we finished our first mission. Quest completed! Now we have our Gaith Helmet box. Let's put it on. Da da! For mission two, we've gotta defeat, uh, I'm gonna say this wrong, Kelx, summoned from Pila Fae Scrolls five times. So, first we need to make these Pila Fae Scrolls. So, I believe we're gonna need 25 of these. So, 1, 2, 24, 25. Let's combine. And now we've got five Pila Fey scrolls. Poggies. So I'll be back once I defeat him five times. Confirm, quest completed! So let's put on our bags gloves now. Yes, and let's put it on. Glorious! For mission three, we're gonna have to hand over glimmering fairy wings to the black spirit. So we're gonna need Layla's petals. This is pretty much like an RNG roll. You get a chance of getting glimmering fairy wings and each roll will cost two Layla's petals. So how many do you think we're gonna need? I don't know, what's my RNG like? I don't know, let's get 70. <laughs> That might be way too much, but you never know. RNG could hate me. Of course, RNG doesn't. <laughs> no. But let's bring 70 Layla's petals with us anyways. Let's accept mission three. Yes. <laughs> We're at the Fairy Queen. She's super cute. Let's uh, 
chat with her, give her a Layla's petal, another one, and we get our RNG box. Let's grab a few. I'll grab like maybe five. Let's uh roll these babies and hopefully we get glimmering wings. One tap. Let's go. Faint fairy wings. A pooey. A pooey. Again. Oh. I just got it. second tap. That's pretty good. Last time it took me a while, so I actually bought useless ones. Oh well. Um, I'm just gonna leave these down here. I'll think about what to use or do with them later. <laughs> Chat with you. Here's your glimmering fairy wing. And yay, we got our muskin shoe box. Thank you. Quest completed. Let's put it on. Da da. For secret mission. Four. Um, we've got to farm special olives and get five special olive seeds to hand over to Black Spirit. And then we can get our last um, suppressed item, which is our Dim Tree Spirit Armor Box. Let's grab our special olive seeds. So I have seven, but we only need to plant five of them. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to harvest all my current crops I have right now. And then we're going to plant our special olive seeds. I harvested all the crops. So now let's plant our special olive seeds so let's place one right here and now we wait for our special olive bushes to grow big and strong like me so we gotta wait five hours for them to grow so let's just uh skip to five hours later guys oh my god i'm back what's up it's been five hours i've been chilling editing like my sweater guys i look like a bear Rawr. Anywho, my special olive seeds are about done. Except this one. This one's like mega slow. 99%. Yeah, man. Oh, there's 100%. <coughs> but as you guys can see, all of our special olive seeds are fully grown. Dig, 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 dig. Hand over special olive seeds. Here you go. Oh my god. Quest objective accomplished. Thank you for the Dim Tree Spirit Armor Box. Poggies. Put our suppressed dim tree armor onto our shy. Get on there. Yay! But yeah, that's pretty much it. Future Ace Alpha is out. Now let's get into an update called a Nightly Pursuit. So this is pretty similar to a previous update we went over before. So you play the game daily and then you get rewards depending on how long you play the game for. So I'll insert the chart. If you play for 120 minutes, you can get two Knight's Insignias and an Awakened Titanium Summon Scroll. So these Knight Insignias that you can get, you can collect them all up and then you can exchange them for different items. So again, I'll insert the chart somewhere. Plan is I want to save up 80 so that I can get a hundred fail stack. Next thing is the attendance rewards. So I'll insert what the rewards are. You can get some Shikatu seals during day 14 and day 30. And then these Shikatu seals can be exchanged for different types of items. If you garner and collect a hundred of these Shikatu seals, you could trade them in for like a hundred fail stack, a tri tungrad earring, a Triton Red Ring. But anywho, I'll insert uh, the different items you can get when you collect a certain amount of the Shikatu seals. And I'll also put the rookie chart and the returning chart for attendance rewards up on the screen as well. Since I know some of you guys might be new to the game, so here's what you can get for the attendance rewards. And I also know that some of y'all are returning players or people who are planning on returning. So here are the rewards for that as well. Let's do the Black Spirit and adventure real quick load 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 all right guys so we're nearing the shikatu box it's right there it's i can i can feel it in the palm of my hand so i'm right here that's me we're literally so close i just gotta roll a five easy right easy clap all right let's roll roll I kid you not, what? Yay, we got a Shikatu box. Actually, Poggies, guys, like what? 
Anyways, that's pretty much it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to thumbs the video up and also subscribe down below to see more. I also have a Twitch channel called Ace Alpha Live and my Instagram is Ace and Lee. And make sure to join my Discord, which will be linked in the description below. I also have a TikTok called Ace Alpha Live. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you guys later. Bye!